Hi friends, I'd like to share with you from my morning reading in the book of Ruth, what I call from bitterness to blessing. I'm reading from Ruth 4 verses 13 to 17. So Boaz took Ruth into his home and she became his wife. When he slept with her, the Lord enabled her to become pregnant and she gave birth to a son. Then the women of the town said to Naomi, praise the Lord who has now provided a redeemer for your family. May this child be famous in Israel. Naomi took the baby and cuddled him to her breast, and she cared for him as if he were her own. The neighbor women said, Now at last Naomi has a son again, and they named him Obed. He became the father of Jesse and the grandfather of David. Fix in your mind for a moment this scene at the end. A grandmother cuddling a baby to her breast. She's surrounded by community pronouncing blessings and encouragement. Can you see this in your imagination? It's such a warm scene filled with faith, hope, and love. But this book didn't start out that way. Naomi and her husband had fled Israel from Moab, fleeing a, Mo a famine in the land. There in a foreign land, her husband and her two married sons died. Naomi was left without support, without hope, without a future as far as she could see. She returned to her homeland filled with bitterness, sorrow, loss, hopelessness. With her was one of her daughters-in-law, Ruth, a Gentile. This was in the time of the judges, where in Israel it was said, everyone did what was right in their own eyes. It was a very ugly time in Israel, a very dangerous time to be a couple of women on their own. Just read the book of Judges. It's horrible. Naomi and Ruth could expect a beggar's existence and very likely significant abuse. But instead, the book ends with this scene, a wedding, a birth, a blessing. What transformed the bitterness to blessing? <laughs> I don't have time for the whole story. You've got to read it yourself. The book of Ruth is only four short chapters and it's beautiful literature. Read it. Ruth, a Gentile, and Naomi, a hopeless widow, are the great and great-great-grandmothers of King David and in direct line to the Messiah, Jesus Christ, your Redeemer and mine. Why? Because God provided a kinsman Redeemer for them, a beautiful type of the coming Messiah. Friends, this story is yours this morning. This story is mine. No matter who you are today, no matter the bitterness or loss in your life, no matter the hopeless situation, there is a Redeemer. There is one who has risen from the dead and there is one ready to transform your bitterness to blessing. Lay down at his feet this morning and trust him to do the rest. God bless you today.